supported and, and brought together nearly 17 nations, tribal nations, who are now speaking in one voice. We must protect our sacred places. And the best protection is for us to be seated at the decision-making table. We ask a senator from Swinomish, one of our relatives just nearby, and come on over. Have you stand, stand up here by the relative? Go ahead, light it. The 21st century is the perfect time for us to reestablish those consensual relationships because Mother Earth is in crisis. We have health problems, COVID. We have people who are going hungry. So it's time for us to return to that consensual relationship so that tribal nations can be a part of the solution. We have to continue this fight and have since the beginning of time because of systemic racism. The history of this country is one where at times our tribes welcomed people to the shores, at other times we were slaughtered, at other times we negotiated, but all with one aim, to live in a good way with all those who have come to this country. Yeah, in the prior administrations, we have seen a lot of harmful impacts to our lands and our sacred sites. You know, most recently with the United States Army Corps of Engineers, they did move forward on a lot of pipeline projects and were approving permits that would allow them to be built. And yet, as we see with this administration, they're taking a step back and they're honoring the process that includes having indigenous communities at the table to talk about how these pipelines are impacting their lands and their waterways and their livelihoods. So it's my I hope that moving forward, indigenous people, those tribal nations will continue to have a seat at the table, have a voice in how these infrastructure projects are impacting them, and find a way that we can honor the earth and honor the water in a good way so that our children and our children's children can also continue to live just as our ancestors wanted for the next seven generations.